welcome to this week's vlog. Now, some of you have said you'd like to see inside our boat. So, welcome to our lounge. Cheers. Well, I knew our boat was a bit of a pigsty, but you know. Rude. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to tell you where we are until the end, because this is actually the end of the vlog, to be honest. This is where we've got to. Uh, we're going to start this vlog the other side of Banbury, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Um, and we cruise through Br Banbury and we stopped there, didn't we? Yeah, we stopped in Banbury. Stopped in Banbury for a wander around the town and had something to eat. Enjoyed that immensely, it was very good. Yep. Uh, and then we had a little cruise to get here. So why not go back to the beginning and see how we started it all off? <laughs> play that game random things you find beside the canal number 27 what is it Jan seems to think it's one of those inflatable things you put in a pool or a spa or a hot tub or something like that and you put your drinks in it is it I don't know let me know in the comments there's a rare thing look it's a British waterway sign I'm surprised CRT have not been around to change it. These lights can The lads what? They didn't put the thing back on. And they let it down.
Make a wish! Uh, it's not quite worked. It's not quite worked. You need more leg muscle. I need more legs. Off to the Amazon locker to pick up my stuff. short walk over this little pedestrian bridge into an industrial estate Locker. There we go. It's 
so that's it. You just put the code in there and the locker doors open and out pops your stuff. Now to take it back to the boat. So the first thing we've got <coughs> is this um, dual battery charger for our main camera. These are the long life batteries that I use, the longer lasting batteries. Um, those ones. Um, I didn't really want any extra batteries because I've got three or four already but this came with the two extra batteries as well and the old charger used to be a mains charger this one is USB because I could only charge the camera batteries up when we're on uh, 240 volts so we're on the inverter but obviously everything now is USB so that's that brilliant little bit of kit and then this thing getting quite hot in it these days so this little fan really quite powerful it's just charging up at the moment but switch it on you can hear that it's lovely and quiet and it does oscillate as well we press the oscillation button there we go look oh that's cold oh lovely yes marvellous and you can set the speed for that as well Let's switch it off there we go and then the other thing i got we've got a mains cable like most people have your 16 amp cable but ours is not blue ours is yellow and it never came with anything like this this is a 25 meter cable reel the cable was loose so it was a pain in the backside to store it anywhere um, now the reason it's like this is because our mains that comes into the boat is not like this which is the standard 16 amp um, socket well this is actually a plug so that would go into your shore power this goes into the boat and this is called a marine co connector um, I think it's used on a lot more ocean going boats and if I take the end off you'll probably see the difference there you go completely different um, that's because it makes a watertight connection and that's because the plug for this sits recessed on the roof of the boat um, and then this screws onto the top of that and then that makes a nice watertight connection the reason being is that's the only place when they were constructing the boat they couldn't put the 240 volt 16 amp plug socket where you would normally put it because of the cables for the generator and stuff so it sits on the roof so this is getting into Banbury town centre oh look no two days uh, he's at maximum, oh, maximum 14. 14 days per month yeah but Bambi. only but only two days april to october yeah you can walk right in the town center here on both sides of the canal i think this is castle quay relatively new building We're going to go this way. Quite nice here, isn't it? Hey? I didn't realise it was so close. Yeah. Oh, it's changed. It's changed a lot since we were here, which is about 20 odd years ago, I think. What's a Premier M? From your own, yeah. I've only just shut the moorings there. For two weeks. Now on this side, I think this leads to the shopping centre, isn't it?
What do you want to eat? What do I want to eat? Yeah. I don't know. Look at these vintage teas. Afternoon tea for two. You get prices of sandwiches, sausage rolls, scone with jam and cream, and a slice of cake for mm. 10 50 mm. mm. Wings and things. Bubble tea. Smash cow. Mexicans closed. I went for the Greek box pork. Mmm, Feta cheese, salad, and a dip. I want a drink. What you got? Cream tea. Cream tea. Cheese sandwiches? There, I asked for cheese and pickle. I could have had numerous um, thing sidey bits. Uh, two sausage rolls, got pickle in. Um, lemon drizzle cake. Scone with potted cream and jam. And a pot of tea for fun. Do you want to see Banbury cross? I want to see Banbury angry. That's the famous Tuli's Boatyard. Good morning everybody. Wake up and smell the coffee. Well, actually if you're moored here you will be smelling a coffee because the Dowie Egberts, is that how you say it? Factory is just over there. Every morning you smell the coffee and wake up. So we better move on. <laughs>
Um, Gone Goosla Central, this is. Thanks for your help, thank you. Coming up to what looks like an old wharf building, I think. Bearing in mind there have been a lot of these here. That's certainly somewhere where goods would have been lifted onto boats, ready to be taken around the network. Looks like an old warehouse building. Maybe it's a new one, I don't know. It's been turned into flats anyway. Well, you're probably looking at the map of the Oxford Canal. Maybe you're not, because it's too dark. <laughs> I'll try this link a little bit better when there's sunshine. And I'm not going through the trees. Pretty though they are. That's better. A little bit too bright. I've got to negotiate one of the things I'm going to talk about. Hold on, here we go. Breathe in. At least we can see the sides on this one. It's where they let the shrubs and everything else grow side by side that you can't see the width of the gap. And that's the thing I was going to talk about is this is where a lift bridge would have been. And you're going to look on the map of the Oxford Canal and go, cool, Tony. There's an awful lot of lift bridges, aren't they? They're not swing bridges, they are lift bridges. Now, the reason for that is that by the time they'd built the windy route of the canal uh, to Banbury, they ran out of money. And if anything's expensive, it's building a brick bridge over the canal. Far simpler cheaper and easier to build a wooden lift bridge and that's why they're in abundance from Banbury onwards down to Oxford. The saving grace is that a lot of them are not used anymore 
so the majority of them are either left open or like the one we've just gone through here non-existent but be prepared because there are one or two still lurking around and you still have to breathe in when you go through them because <laughs> the gap is only just wider than your boat We did say we were going to reveal where we are. It's a lovely place. It's a bit hidden. It is on the maps um, and it's called the Pig Place. I thought it was called <laughs> Posh Pigs, but that's a. No. Posh Pigs is a cafe I used to go to in Suffolk. Yeah. <laughs> on a trading estate. But no, this is called the Pig's Place. There we go. And I'm not moving from here. She's not moving from here. Nope. You can moor here. Um, there is a charge for overnight mooring and a little bit extra if you want to plug into the electricity. Otherwise, um, you can moor opposite. Uh, there's a few mooring spots, not a lot, but you can moor opposite and then you've got to go over the lock and walk in this, you know, that way. But um, this is by far the better option because you've got all these facilities. We've got a- uh, It's so surreal. It a really barbecue is. area. There's a bar and there's a mobile food unit well, it's permanent i think yeah fantastic and there's a farm, there's a little, shop. A, a farm shop as well selling all the produce they even sell marshmallows yeah and the sticks so that you can uh, cook them over the so you can do them over the barbecue there's yourself fire pits yeah there's jacuzzis hot tubs Is all there? sorts yeah, see, yeah, yeah, i haven't seen yeah, any of that tubs. yet so yeah. <laughs> there you, you go you will not be seeing us in there no no, <laughs> no thank you Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. If you have, don't forget, thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's totally free. And when you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon. Ding! Or should that be... <laughs> <laughs> and YouTube will notify you next time we upload a vlog. In the meantime, stay safe. Happy cruising, everybody. <laughs> Bye!